Tonight I made thirty dollars. Like I'm just gonna sit in this. Tell me why I pull up my fucking driving record and it's just so suspended. today you know get things going and then uh, I might plan on hitting the gym after this hence the five will close while I set up the 48 hours to-do list I made sure to break down everything that I wanted to get done for each category for combat cleaners only fans and other etc things I wanted it was arm day for the gym I got there at like 9 30 I made sure to knock out some bench presses so I feel like I killed it, you know, really getting them progress in. My boxing coach told me to do this to help with my shins. I don't know if it's actually gonna work, but we'll see. This is my first meal of the day. I got some pasta with, I put just some salt, pepper, and olive oil, Brussels sprouts, and then deer meat. Um, it's kind of Dover's afternoon, so don't judge me. Hey guys, welcome back to Just a Thought. Um, so I just got done with um, everything that I needed to for before work, after planning everything this morning. Uh, I hit the gym, you know, I had a good workout, and then I walked my dogs for a little bit, and I finally got out of the shower, ate, got dressed in the makeup, and now I'm ready for business. I absolutely love Canva. I'll be making a separate video going over all the different things that I use Canva and some tips that I've picked up. I hopped on my business Facebook page and started scheduling the week's worth of posts. Next, I hopped on ChatGPT to get some captions for my Facebook posts. I wanted to see if they could get me any captions that would blend potential clients. It is like 1.30 a.m. Um, in the parking lot at Dream Girls. I left a little bit early because it was ass. Canvas. <laughs> Bro, everyone always thinks that dancers have it so fucking easy. That we out here just making that bag all the fucking time. But that is not the fucking case. And tonight is just a fucking up in the road but just a reminder that we have it tough too sometimes tonight i made 30 dollars i think something like that and you know what i'm just gonna sit in this for a minute in my defense though there was only nine people that came in and my food was one of them I gotta go home, shower, go to bed because your girl's gotta be at the DMV by 8 a.m. <sighs> Finally starting day two. Here's the outfit. It's Gerald. Look at Gerald. I need to fill his tank for a little bit. My baby boy, baby Shabby, and baby girl, hi Aww. girl. He's a greedy boy. Hi guys, so I just got off the phone with one of my friends up in New York, uh, and told me to call in DMV and that it it is a pretty solid suspension. Um, yeah, so I called the DMV and they said that my license is suspended till November 25th. Which just means that I can't get a new PA license so I can't go out drinking until like fucking December. But what are you gonna do? So. A 
I'm hungry. Yo, I be out here on this fucking struggle bus. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. So I went to the DMV because I'm fine. I was like, let me not be a fucking lazy piece of shit. And I was like, I'm gonna get a new fucking license. So I fucking get there. I, but my dumbass lost my New York license. I get there, they're like, oh, you have to bring us your driving record from New York. So I was like, bro, get fucked. I was like, okay. So I was like, oh, I'm just gonna go get it printed. And then I'll fucking come back in like an hour and just be persistent and get it done. Tell me why I pull up my fucking driving record and it's just so suspended. As I'm driving, yo. Not that I was on my phone as I was driving, but as I was driving, I'm seeing this shit. Now I'm at Sam's. Cause I don't know if I should drive. <laughs> I don't want to go to jail. I don't want to get my butthole probed. I just can't. But now I'm sitting here contemplating my life, trying to figure out how do I unfuck myself. Also, I looked at it and it's not because I'm a shitty driver like you might fucking think. It's not. It says that I had a lapse of insurance. And that's why they suspended it which I thought about cuz after my fucking car killed itself I canceled my insurance cuz I was like I ain't paying on that shit and as many of you know it took me like two months to get a car so and then a, like a month till I got insurance again but you know shh but in New York size, I went three months without insurance. I'm gonna fucking blow my head off. Okay, stay tuned. We made it through day one, on to day two. Finally made it back to the gym. It was leg day today. So I went in, knocked that out. You know, your girl loves a good leg day. After that, I went home. I had my little beast with me while I cooked in den. I had chicken tenders, beans, and rice for dinner. And then I didn't film much today, so I decided to just film my conclusion for the first 48 hours. Can I just say that food slapped? So I just wrapped up my first 48 hours, and I just wanted to do a wrap on how everything went for the first 48 hours. It was a complete shit show. <laughs> and I am glad that it happened, everything the way it did, that way I can just get it out and start, you know, planning accordingly in order to maximize everything again. So um, I didn't really touch on how much I made from dancing that second night. I know I touched on making like $22 my first night. and. $35 was the total I made for the second night, <clears throat> which came to a total of 50, what did I say, $57? So, $57 out of $250,000, ay, ay. Um, so hopefully, you know, as the week progresses, um, things will pick up work-wise, and then um, we'll go from there. We'll see how everything goes. Really crossing my fingers that the week gets better. Uh, for now, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the first 48 hours, and wish me luck. Leave a comment below on your predictions on how the rest of the week will go. Hopefully good, please. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe to stay tuned for the rest of the six month journey and to see if I make the 250,000, which you know I will. Um, and as always, this is 
just a thought.